you. So why don't we start by getting centered. So slide to the back of your chair if you're not there already. If it feels good to you, have both feet flat on the floor. And you can either sit up tall or you can relax into the back of your chair. We're just gonna go inward for a couple of minutes to start to turn off all of this <laughs> and tune into what's going on in here. Closing the eyes. As you close your eyes and settle in, take a couple of deep breaths in and out. Maybe breathing deeper than you normally do. Allow this to be a fuller breath, a generous breath. So often we only breathe enough to survive. Give yourself a bit more than that. You might feel the chest expand and contract as you breathe deeper. You might sense some movement in the belly, the abdomen. With that exhale, it might feel like you're clearing something out, some stuckness, some stress. We'll just take a few more of these breaths, just inviting in whatever it is we need in this moment. Maybe it's energy to get to five o'clock or for the weekend, the long weekend. And before you come out, just set the intention that you are about to practice chair yoga and that any to-do lists or preoccupations of the mind can wait until we're done. You don't have to figure anything out here that this next half hour is 100% just for you. So with that, take a deeper, fuller breath and allow your eyes to slowly open, bringing yourself back to the room around you. Welcome back and slide to the edge of your chair and have your feet flat on the floor about uh, hip width apart, okay? The knees are about hip width apart, I should say. And the heels are stacking underneath the knees and a stable stance and relax your arms down by your sides. Good. So with your next inhale, sweep your arms out to the sides, reach the arms up, big extension through the sides of the body, and then exhale, release your arms down. Good. Inhale, sweep the arms back up again, reach through the fingertips, and exhale, release. We're going to do that a few more times, just starting to bring some length to the body. Inhale, reach. Exhale, release. You can breathe through the nose exclusively. If it feels good to exhale out of your mouth, go ahead and do that. Sometimes uh, almost like a sigh feels really good, especially if you're holding on to some stress or tension. Sometimes a exasperation <laughs> with that exhale can really let you let go of it. Good, so we're gonna add on to this movement. Go ahead and reach your arms up, inhale. Then exhale, hinge at the hips, swan dive, fold over the legs. And then inhale, reverse that, sweep the arms out and up. Stay seated tall, release the arms on down. Good, again, inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward. Reverse that, come back up, inhale and just the arms this time. So we're bringing some warmth or some movement to the lower back here. Exhale, folding forward. We're bringing some strength to it as we call upon it to help lift us back up. Let's do a few more of these, all right? Arms lift, exhale, fold. Back up and just the arms. 
again. Inhale back up. And we're gonna build on to this again. So inhale, lift the arms up. This time we're gonna come into a twist. Take your right arm forward, left arm behind you. Take the left shoulder back, twist. Inhale, bring the arms up, come back to center. And this time fold forward, hinge at the hips, swan dive down. Inhale, take the arms out to the side, come all the way back up and then twist to the other side. Left hand forward, right arm behind you, right shoulder working back, exhale. And then inhale, arms up and again, fold forward. Good, keeping this moving. Inhale, come back up. Take the right arm forward, left arm back, twist, twist, twist. And then come back up, inhale, again, folding down. And back up, nice strong back. And then take the left arm forward, right arm behind you, twist, twist, twist. Inhale, unwind. And exhale, fold down. Inhale, back up. Right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, unwind. Again, folding forward. Back up, inhale. Good, left arm forward, right arm behind you, twist. Unwind, and we'll do one more time on each side. So exhale, fold forward. Inhale, back up. Right arm forward, left arm back, twist, twist, twist. Inhale, unwind. Again, fold forward, exhale. Back on up. And then take the left arm forward, right arm back, twist, twist, twist. Inhale, unwind. And we'll end this movement with a forward fold. And just fold forward, stay there for a little bit. Just breathe. Feeling the chest and belly compressing into the thighs. You can release any holding of the neck here. Just allow the chin to drop in towards your throat. One more breath. And then inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Come all the way up. And release the arms on down. Good. Take a moment to feel sensation from that series. Just noticing what's happening in the body. We did some twisting, we did some folding, some extending. It's a great way to get everything pretty much from the hips up starting to be engaged here. Good, so let's do some spinal flexes next. I'm gonna turn sideways, but you can keep facing forward. Keep having the knees hip width apart. And with the hands on the thighs, go ahead and roll the shoulders down your back, squeeze the shoulder blades together and turn your chest toward the ceiling. Good, and then with your exhale, roll the shoulders forward like you're trying to knit them toward one another. The upper back widens. Good, then inhale, open the chest again, coming into the first position. Then exhale around the back, looking down at your lap. Inhale, open up, and exhale around. And then just keep moving with your breath, opening up, inhale, rounding the back, exhale, bringing some mobility to the chest, the upper spine. And this really helps us to take deeper, fuller breaths because sometimes we can't take deep breaths because all these muscles are round the chest and upper back gets stiff. This just helps to break up all that stuckness. Inhale, opening up, and exhale, rounding. That's giving us a little bit of movement for the neck as well. Couple more times, inhale, open. Exhale around. And then come into the open position. Roll the shoulders back, bring the shoulder blades together, turn the chest to look up. 
and stay and breathe. And feeling the heart open here. Good, and then reverse that. Roll the shoulders forward. Feel the upper back widen, the shoulder blades separating. Take some breaths into your upper back. Good, then bring your spine to neutral, the head coming up and just feel sensation. Good. All right, so this next one is a bit of a shoulder slash neck stretch. You're gonna allow, actually I'll, I'll stand up for this one, but you can do this seated. <laughs> it's just easier for me to turn around and show you what's gonna happen. And so I'm gonna take my left arm behind me. With my right hand, I'm just gonna reach back and grab hold of the wrist. And I'm just pulling this, uh, this left arm both down and further to the right. Now, once I've had that connection, I'll allow my right shoulder, sorry, my right ear to drop toward my right shoulder and forward slightly, okay? So I'm holding onto the left wrist. My chin is dropping. Uh, or sorry, my ear is dropping to the right and my chin is dropping forward slightly. It's kind of a three-dimensional thing going on here. So try to come into that position and then just take some deep breaths. You'll feel this pulling on the left side of the neck and shoulder here. Then you can play around with the rotation of your chin or how far the right ear reaches toward the right shoulder to adjust the stretch. And we'll just stay for about 10 more seconds or so. Good, now to come out, roll the chin toward the breastbone and then lift the head up, then release the hand behind you. Good, so since we just did an asymmetrical posture, notice the difference between the left side and the right side, knowing that we will balance that out as much as possible. Good, and then we'll go ahead and balance it out then. <laughs> so I'll stand it to demonstrate, but again, you can stay seated. Your right hand or arm drops behind you. With your left hand, you'll reach back behind you, grab the wrist, and traction the arm both down and further to the left. Once you have that connection, the left ear can drop to the left shoulder and the head can drop forward slightly at an angle. Okay, that was much easier to explain on the second round. <laughs> Good, and just take a few deep breaths here. Feel some stretching on the right side of the neck and the right shoulder. And you can play around with the rotation of your chin or how far that left ear drops to the left shoulder to adjust the stretch. Please breathe deeply here, especially if you notice some discomfort. About 10 more seconds, keep breathing. Good, so to come out, bring the chin to the sternum and then lift the head up and then carefully release the arm from behind you. Again, notice sensation. It might feel like there's more length on both the sides of the shoulders here, the tops, I guess, the tops of the shoulders <laughs> and the back of the neck and shoulders as well. Good, so working with the shoulders just a little bit more, please take your arms out to the sides 
and then sweep the hands forward. And you want your right hand over the left, right over left, and then continue sweeping across and grab onto your, either your arms. Some of you might be able to grab your shoulders. Some of you might be able to inch a bit further into a deeper hug. Just make as deep of a connection as you can here. And once you have made that connection, lift your elbows in front of you. And as you lift the elbows, you'll feel the shoulder blades at the upper back start to separate, creating some space between them, helping to break up tension that is existing in that region of the body. So take some deep breaths into that region of the body, the upper back. Keep lifting the elbows, about 10 more seconds here. Good, now to come out, let the elbows drop down first and then slowly release the hug and notice sensation. Always good to drop back into the body, like what just happened? <laughs> so we know kind of where we're at in time and space. So we did right hand over left hand that time. So we're gonna switch it up now, do left over right. So take the arms out to the sides again, sweep the arms forward. Again, left hand over right hand, take it all the way across and grab a connection. So again, it might be the sides of the arms, might be the shoulders. Some of you might be able to reach the upper back, just make as deep of a connection as you can. And then sitting really tall, lift the elbows in front of you. And let's breathe, feeling those shoulder blades separate again. Deep breaths in and out. About 10 more seconds, keep the elbows lifting. And then carefully let the elbows drop down and just slide the hands out of that hug. And roll the shoulders around a little bit, just feel sensation for a second. especially if you notice some tension there. Notice kind of maybe releasing or starting to change a little bit. And so we've done quite a bit of uh, work for the upper body, and we're gonna do a little bit of work for the lower body and also your core as well. So for this next exercise, the goal is to actually try to keep the spine as tall as possible. So we're gonna be doing some knee lifts. And so it's gonna be tempting when you pick up a knee to round the back deeply here. And so I want you to try to keep the back as straight or the spine as tall as possible, okay? Just do, do your best. <laughs> so for this one, you can just allow your arms to hang down by your sides. If you feel like you need to hold on to something for support, you can hold on to the sides of your chair. Either one works. Good. So the knees are still hip width apart. The heels are still stacking underneath the knees. Identify your right leg, flex the right foot. So pull the toes away from the floor and then lift the knee into your chest as much as possible. And then bring the foot down, barely graze the floor and then bring the knee back up again. And then bring it down, barely graze the floor bring it up again and keep doing that about three to four more times. And as you do so, notice if your back starts to round. Now it's one thing to lean back a little bit. You can do that, that actually strengthens the core a bit more, but you don't wanna be hunching at all. Okay, we're not doing crunches there, but that could be fun. <laughs> Good, one more time. Foot barely grazing the floor, bring it up and then place it on down. 
getting some energy into that right hip here. So let's try that on the other side. So starting by flexing the foot, pulling the toes back, sit up tall, and then go ahead and bring the knee in and place it back down again, just barely touch the floor and then bring it up and then keep going. Barely touch the floor about six times-ish total, depending on how fast you're going, I guess. And try to keep the spine lifting. Now you might notice if your hip is tighter on this side, that it's harder to keep the spine tall. So just do your best again. Good, let's do one more. Barely touching the ground and then bring it up and then place it on down. Good, again, energy kind of flowing into that hip now. I say energy, it's probably discomfort, <laughs> but it's a good thing. We're, we're kind of moving it through, we're moving it through. We're gonna do another leg exercise here. Again, you're welcome to hold on to the side of your chair if you need to. I'm gonna have you identify your right leg again. Flex the right foot, pull the toes away from the floor, sit up tall and bring the knee into your chest. I'll turn sideways. You keep facing forward. Good, so you're gonna take a deep breath in, then exhale, push that right leg forward, lifting the heel as high as you can, and then bring the knee back in. Try to keep the spine lengthening. Push away, exhale, and bring in. Push and in. Push and in. We're gonna do two more, all right? Let's give it a try. Push forward and in and push forward and in. Place that foot on down. Take a moment, relax, feel sensation. And yes, we're gonna do that on the other side. So <laughs> whether you like it or not, we wanna make sure we balance things out. So identify your left leg this time. Flex the foot, pull the toes away, and then bring that knee into your chest. So sitting tall, take a deep breath in. Exhale, push the left leg forward, lift the heel, and then knee to chest. Push and in. Exhale, push and in two more times. Push, push, push and in and push, bring it in and place it down. Good, take a deep breath in. Exhale, just fold over the legs for a moment. And as you do so, you wanna feel some lengthening in the lower back here, okay? Just helping to counterpose that work we just did. Good, then inhale, come all the way back up. Perfect, so we'll do one more exercise, not for the core so much, but just to help move any tension out of the hips that we just created through that last exercise. So again, you can hold onto the chair or you can just do your best to sit tall and then lift your right leg up, flex the foot, and then just shake it from side to side. And you want it to be shaking all the way up into the femur head or the hip joint. The flexing of the foot helps protect the knee and the ankle so that they don't start flopping around in weird ways. Really, we're isolating this hip joint here. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and bring that foot on down, feeling some warmth and tingling in that leg and foot. And we'll copy that on the other side. So identifying your left leg, Flex the foot, bring the knee up and shake from side to side. Again, isolating the movement all the way up into the left hip joint. Just shake it out. Keeping that left foot flexed. Three, two, and one. Place that foot back down. Good, we're almost done with our physical movement. I guess all movement technically is physical, but you, you get what I mean, we're gonna meditate soon. We have a couple more exercises to do before then. So sitting tall, go ahead and lift your arms overhead again and interlace your fingers. 
and then turn the palms away from your head and reach up, reaching through the wrists. Good, now it's tempting here to throw all of this into your lower back, like you're starting to back bend a bit. So I want you to shrug your tailbone under a little bit, feel the navel pull back toward your spine and then reach up a little bit more. Breathe. Reach up a bit more, you're almost there. Reach, 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 reach. Deep breath in. And then break the hands apart, fold over the legs one more time and just sink over the thighs. Release the head and neck, chin dropping toward your throat. One more breath here. And then inhale, roll yourself up to a seat. Good. <laughs> Great job. Let's spend the last few minutes we have together in a meditation to help just integrate all of this work that we've done. So sliding to the back of your chair, you always have the option of sitting up tall or to relax into the back of your chair. Do what you feel like is gonna serve you best in this moment, all right? Feet flat on the floor. Allow your eyes to close again. And tune into your breath. Aware of the inhale, aware of your exhale. And we'll use the visualization of light moving in and out of the body to create some clarity and peace of mind. And so I'd like you to imagine your body surrounded by bright light. It might feel like sitting in the sun, or maybe you imagine it's an aura of light around you. However best you can imagine, you surrounded by light. Now with your next inhale, Imagine that you could draw two streams of this light in through the nostrils and have them converge at the middle of your brain, center of the head. And then exhale, that light moves back out of the nostrils into the space around you. And then repeat that, inhale, two streams of light through the nostrils, meeting at the brain center. Then exhale that light back out through the nostrils. Just follow that light in and out, lightly touching the brain center before moving back out again. Inhale, streams of light to the center of your brain. Exhale back out through the nostrils. And imagine that every time this light touches the brain center that it leaves a residue. It leaves a charge of light there. Then allow the movement of light to stop and just focus on that point at the brain center, 
and the light that has been ignited there. And see that light at the brain center shine brightly within the head, brightly within the brain, just creating a sense of clarity, clearing away any fog, confusion, uncertainty, soothing any fears or worries. Bringing a lightness to your being, body and mind. And keep that lightness with you as you move back into your day and into your weekend. So when you're ready, take a deeper, fuller breath, bring the palms together and rub the palms together, creating heat, bringing those warm palms over your eyes and then brush back over the top of your head, down your neck, and welcome yourself back to the space around you. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope this practice has served you well, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great weekend. Take care.